this uh, this Oliver Anthony kid comes out of what is Virginia or whatever, and and this song goes viral, and I'm I'm listening to this song that just pops out of nowhere, and I'm like, okay, uh, I can hear the authenticity in this guy's voice, and it it resonates with a lot of people. Now they're trying to villainize him, and you know it, it popped off on Twitter. People were talking about you producing some uh, some stuff with him. Uh, what's happening with that? Is that is that going to be a thing? You going to work on a project with him, or do we know yet? Well, so, you know, I've had several conversations with him um, on the phone, long periods of time, texting back and forth. I mean, the guy literally goes from singing out in the woods <laughs> and loading a little video onto his YouTube channel where he still had his email listed on his on his YouTube channel. I mean, <laughs> he was just glad that anybody liked his music at that point. And then, you know, a couple of us saw it. I saw it. Uh, Bongino ran across it. He's like, have you seen this guy? I go. I said, I just saw it. I said, this, it's one of the most jarring things I've ever seen in a really profound way. Yeah. So I posted it, you posted it, we all started posting it. And what do you know? I think the guy's got 70 million views. Something crazy <laughs> has happened with this guy. But I think the reason that that song is so big, it's not, not only the lyrics of the song, but it is what the guy sounds like and looks like as he's performing it. Yeah. Americans are exasperated. Americans are shredded. Americans are exhausted and they're pissed off and they're sad. And they're all these things rolled up into one after all these years from the pandemic on to this very second. It just never ends. And this guy's voice and the way he sounded and the way he emoted the, those lyrics, I think, struck a chord with lots of people. I mean, I, I went on. Uh, YouTube looking at some reaction videos just to see what people are saying. There's yeah. all kinds of people, I promise you, that are not conservatives that are listening to the song and going, everything that guy just said is absolutely true. Yeah. And so now he's experiencing uh, the buzzsaw. You know, the the entire music industry uh, in Nashville has been coming after him. And I explained to him on the phone, I said, if you had a record deal and recorded that exact song and made that exact video, nobody would have ever heard it. There's right. no way in hell a record label would ever let that song see the light of day. So thank God you're independent. I've been telling him stay independent. Yeah. Don't do contracts. Don't do anything, you know, follow your gut, man, stay independent because the second you sign up with a big company, they're going to start cutting you apart and editing you and it won't be the same situation. And he listens. He he's actually was on that page already this morning. I texted him. I said, well, man, how's it going? He said, well, I'm just trying to trying to stay quiet and stay in the Bible. That's what he said. I'm staying <laughs> quiet and I'm staying in the Bible. That's I good. Said, that's a good. That's a good place to be. So he really is that guy. I yeah. mean, that's he's dealing with a lot right now. So uh, I hope he can keep it together, and I hope he's got other good people around him. He he can uh, you know lean on. Yeah, from the viral perspective, I made the comment the day it happened. I said he's about to have a lot of good things come his way and a lot of bad things, and I hope he's ready for that. And so I'm, I'm thankful that you guys have, have rallied around him in the way that you have, and uh, good for him. I, again, they're setting him up as some kind of political ideologue pawn, and I'm like, the guy's not political at all. He just wrote a protest song that just has the anointing on it. I don't know any other way to put it. I mean, it's just like God put his <laughs> finger on the thing, and boom, it's blessed, you know? When, he's, when he says, uh, your dollar ain't shit, and yeah. it's tax no end, because the rich man up, up north of Richmond, I mean, so, well, everybody's dollars aren't worth anything, and everybody's getting the hell taxed out of them. Everybody. So, yeah, that's a popular song. Listen, you're seeing the biggest songs right now uh, from Aldine, Try That in a Small Town, uh, now to the, the Richmond, north of Richmond. And I honestly think my song, I'm Offended, is going to be one of those. I think people, it's different than those other two because it's funny. Yeah. It's hilarious, matter of fact. But it it pushes the same button of, yeah, that's what we all look at every day. Just nobody's putting that into a song before. Yeah. So I think we actually, as independent artists, and me and him, and even Al Dean, who, who is on a record label, but just does what he wants to, that attitude has got to come forward and be heard and, and stand up. And it doesn't just have to be famous people, Chad. It can be anybody, anybody listening to this interview. You got a voice too. Stop being scared to use it. If the founding fathers uh, had a spirit of fear, we wouldn't even have a country to be arguing about right now. So yeah. remember where you come from, step out there and say what you mean.